Hello, and warm welcome to the Project Finance Modeling course. In this course, we will be building advanced project finance model, literally from scratch. The course is divided into five parts. First, we will quickly review the basic theory behind project finance and project finance primer module. We will start from basics, answering such questions as, what is project finance? And who are the players in project finance? We will then quickly progress to advanced topics, such as risk analysis, control accounts, and covenants in project finance. And we will conclude this module with a case study on project finance transaction. The purpose of this module is to quickly introduce to project finance theory. In the second module, we will review the case study and introduce you to some of the modeling methods to increase your modeling productivity. It is important that you take this lesson on increasing modeling productivity as the methods discussed in the lesson will be applied throughout the course. Next, we will look at the timeline development in project finance, and timeline is a critical element in project finance models. We will model such events as financial close, refinancing date, construction period, and operations period. Then, we will model projects construction costs, construction funding, and funding fees. It is a distinctive feature of project finance transactions to capitalize funding fees during construction. In this module, we will be modeling based on monthly periods. In the third module, we will work on the project's financial statements, and it will be based on semi-annual periods. We will model revenue, operating costs, working capital needs, capital expenditures, debt financing, taxes, equity, and dividends. We will learn how to integrate our monthly construction sheets with semi-annual calculation sheets. In the fourth module, we will introduce project finance coverage ratios, debt sculpted repayment profile, debt service reserve account, maintenance reserve account, revolving credit facility, and shareholder loans. At this point, our model will be producing circular references. We will understand why we are having those circularities and will create best practice macros to break those circularities in the model. We will also carry out net present value, IRR, and scenario analysis in this module. In the fifth module, which is the last module, we will introduce advanced project finance topics, such as equity first funding method, debt sizing macros, debt service reserve account macros, and cash sweep analysis. By the end of this course, you will have gained advanced project finance modeling skills that you can apply in your job right away. You will be able to produce advanced financial model that can evaluate projects debt capacity and carry out valuation of the project. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I will get back to you within 24 hours with some tips and advice.